Thursday, we'll eat one of the most calorie-laden meals of the year, so we brought in a weight loss expert to help you get through the day. Having a plan, starting off with breakfast, is very, very important. And many people, they're so caught up in everyone coming over their house, they forget that. Right. Charles D'Angelo is the local weight loss coach and author who recently helped Senator Claire McCaskill lose 50 pounds. We went to the grocery store in search of the best tips to help you from going overboard on calories. Everything from how to survive the Thanksgiving Day toast to which desserts to eat. Charles D'Angelo, <laughs> thanks again for coming in. So My great pleasure. to have you here. This is kind of a stressful day for many of us because yeah. we're so worried that we're just going to blow the entire diet and eat way too many calories. Yeah. One of the things you told me I really like to eat breakfast and lunch and so many people don't maintain a structure throughout the day so many people walk into the day without a plan so they go about their day starving themselves up until the meal time whatever time that is oftentimes too early as it is and then they are victim to being ravenous because they're so hungry a key is to make certain that you eat breakfast complex carbs whether it be oatmeal or a whole grain cereal with some form of protein to buffer against that sugar up and down throughout the day and then eat snacks every three hours a good lean protein source at lunch maybe some vegetables with that Keeping structure is very, very helpful. Okay, another thing that I thought was interesting, buy the most expensive turkey you can afford <laughs> and eat lots of it. What is it about, you like the organic, what is it about that? Well, they're hormone-free, they don't use any antibiotics, and the thing about turkeys now is the organic has really taken fire in the sense that people are raving about how good they are because they have access to pasture. So when the farmers are raising these turkeys, they're actually not kept in a locked, closed, dark place where they're never able to exercise or out so you're getting a higher quality meat the thing with regardless of what turkey you buy is eat white meat do not go with the dark meat keep it lean white meat is a surefire way to make sure that you're not gonna have a lot of extra calories that are unnecessary and you want your plate to consist mostly of that protein if you're trying to lose weight think about it have a plate of lean protein about a quarter with good green vegetables or roasted vegetables like carrots cauliflower even Brussels sprouts if you ro ro roast them are great and then about a third with those carbohydrates, which we should probably talk about. Things like the desserts, pumpkin pie. What should you choose there? Okay, well, we're going to... You say make your own. Why? You can eliminate a lot of those unnecessary sugars that are in the cans of cranberry sauce. So by taking a bag of cranberries you buy at the grocery store, putting them in a little bit of boiling water with some Splenda, boiling it, and then letting them come to a cool in the, free, in the fridge or fri freezer, whichever you prefer, you can then have your own cranberry sauce without all the extra sugar. Okay, quickly, if you had to choose pumpkin pie or pecan pie, which would it be? Neither. No, I, <laughs> no uh, I would say this. Pumpkin's awesome for a couple of reasons. One is any of those veggies or fruits that are orange fleshy uh, contain nutrients called carotenoids, which are things that help lower, they show the lower risk of certain cancers. Also, the thing is it's rich in vitamin A. If you have one piece of pumpkin pie, although none of my clients should have any, uh, <laughs> if you have one piece, you satisfy 100% of your need for vitamin A, but avoid the crust. In a crust, a pie crust, you have 188 grams of fat. Imagine, that's similar to having a bag of French fries. Wow. And can you have a toast, a glass of red wine? Okay, the thing with alcohol Quickly. is, regardless if it's, it's a uh, pure alcohol or if it's something with additives, alcohol converts over, liver converts it to acetate. Your body burns that instead of metabolizing protein, carbs, and fats. So you're really slowing your metabolism when you do that. So if you want to have it, make sure, again, keep it just one meal. Don't spread this out throughout the day eat regularly and make sure to exercise. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Charles D'Angelo, author of Think and Grow Thin. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. You can find much more information, his website, through our website, ksvk.com. We're up with more on...